We in here. You rocking with New Mainstream Talks. Uh, got a very special guest with me today. We got K.O. Bracey. What up, bro? Yeah. Uh, you know, I feel pretty good, sir. How you, how you feeling, That's what's man? up, man. I feel pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to, like, follow North Carolina mandates and wear these goddamn masks and shit. Right. It's uh, Every time I take a breath, it, like, sucks in your mouth. And, yeah, you know? it's pretty goddamn. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> yes, pause. Pause. Definitely a pausing moment. Yeah. But, yeah, it's like. Damn, you just be hot as hell. Yeah, all the Maybe time. Maybe my breath is hot too, or something though. My back, which is good already. for you that I'm wearing a mask. You know what, what I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. For real, for real. But what's been going on with you, man? Man, just been grinding, man. Uh, you know, uh, getting my life together, man. Get your life together. You just got saved or something. What's up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been saved. You know, <laughs> but you know, outside of sometimes you ain't got no power though. You no, know, outside joking. of the influencer <laughs> and artist life, you know, yeah. sometimes you got to get your personal life straight, man. Bro. So, I just been getting myself together, dog. I feel you, cause my personal life is all fucked up. Man. <laughs> Everything else is going good, though. <laughs> That's how it be. It's like, like the better gotta, stuff <laughs> goes business wise. The worse your personal life gets. You got to choose one or the other, right? Nigga. Right. Like, God damn. But no, nah, So all right, as far as that goes, so what's up? Like, what's going on? Oh, your boy. Uh, your boy engaged now. You know, what I'm saying. Boy, is it, I I just had you on the show last year, bro. Yep. Yep. And now, totally different situation. <laughs> <laughs> you Ooh, done, yeah. You got locked up, got you singing R and B. Right, shit. man. Right, but life is good, man. That's you what's know? up, man. Got no complaints, bro. That's good, man. That's good. It is actually a wonderful thing to see people find love, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she thick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the baby. And that is definitely a good bonus whenever, go. she, whenever she thick with it. <laughs> definitely a bonus. I mean, it really is, though. Yeah, but, it is. You know? But nah, so. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> so, as far as like you said, the music and social influence, what's going on with that? Uh, just been working on like some influencer campaigns, like for other artists, helping them, you know, get yeah, their yeah. numbers up and. Still pushing my own stuff, man. About to drop a ton of new content, new videos. And y'all know I'm always on the gram doing something random as heck, man. So, yeah, dog. We definitely got to link up on that, bro. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, for real. Cause I'm ready. I got the team, bro. You done met the grandma squad over right. there. And, um, they don't even look too grandma-ish, though. They like, <laughs> they like these 2020 grandmas. Yo, you they, know what I'm saying? That's, they, they my <laughs> secret weapon over there. Right. But, nah, for real, though. So, we've been developing content, too. Matter of fact, we just did a commercial for um, Coke that's, that's really dope that we Lit. about to drop. Lit. But, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. So, we definitely got to link up on that. But, I'm with it. Yo, so, as far as, like, the music and stuff, like, what you got going on with that, man? Uh, well, we've been pushing the heck out of Dundell, man. That's about to crack 50,000 views on YouTube, about 150,000 streams. Just dropped a new album. Probably going to hit y'all with another one first quarter of next year. And uh, I'm definitely going to drop a few videos before the end of this year. Uh, That's what's up, man. I just had to take some time to, like, collect, man. Sometimes it's right. like, you got to, you got to. Uh, How long was your break, bro? Man, it was like, uh. Like four or five months, man. So what? Like soon as quarantine hit? Yeah, no cap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's like I dropped a a project right when quarantine was starting to kind of gear up a little bit to give yeah, myself yeah. a little breathing room. But I'm back on their necks now, though. Y'all hear me? I'm back on their neck. Back on it and stay on it, bro. I'm back on their neck. <laughs> I had to give you time to drink your water. <laughs> so, I know. I was like, hey, yo, he's a good host. I was like, I'm about to just keep drinking my water and see how long he's like, just. I was just going to say it, keep saying it. I'm back on that neck. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Looking Can't let up off, bro. Can't. Now, nah, that consistency is definitely was key. Absolutely. Be like, yo, if I would know what I know now back then. Facts, bro. For um, real. Figgity facts. But yeah, man. We also um, what's the name of the artist that we're gonna talk to today? XL Hope. XL huh? Hope. Mm -hmm. Okay, where he from? <laughs> Grandma tripping, <laughs> right? <laughs> man, Grand. Uh, oh yeah. No, no, y'all good. 
This is informal. We don't. We, we could. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Oh, I got a question for you. Go ahead. Who you think won that uh that Jeezy Gucci versus? I mean, Jeezy definitely won. <laughs> but my nigga Gucci funny as hell. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, when, man, when Gucci was like, "I'm about to smoke on that puka," I was like, "Oh God." <laughs> They about to start fighting at this verse. I know, yo. Man. I'm like, yo, Jeezy is so calm and cool, bro. Like, <laughs> I was like yo. yo, Gucci was going off, and Jeezy was just like, I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> like, hey man, you better tell him. You better, you better go to the nigga. Him, not bro. listening though. Right, right, right. <laughs> yo, man, he was going in on him, yo. But you know, it got to the end, and it was like, yo, so many records. I was like, dang, Gucci ain't even play this. You know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, though, man, it is dope that they was actually able to squash that B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, After all these years, anyway. Right. Wait, how old is Jeezy? He, like, pushing 40? Yeah. Yeah, he pushing 40. Coochie up there, too. So yeah. it's like, man, why are people expecting them to come and be, like, <laughs> all beefy hard and right, shit? Right, right, like, right, right. Like Quando and them or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, gosh. Like, yeah. Oh. It's like... It, it, that boy Quando, man. Yeah. He just dropped uh, something. Bro. He just dropped something, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I I heard it. <laughs> so he's going in about uh the the King Vine joint. Basically telling his side. That's and, a uh, that's a tough situation, man. It is, man, but Oh, right, this joker thirsty, yeah. ain't he? <laughs> they had to bring my boy some water. Yo, I ain't even finished the last one. <laughs> this dude guy. parched up here. I ain't even finished the last one. <laughs> All you hear on the mic is... <laughs> <laughs> boy, thirsty up here. That's what people listen for. They just want to yeah. hear, hear me drink water. But I definitely <laughs> think real tough, <laughs> tough little situation and some stuff that they... Uh, yeah. That's that street life, man. Yeah, man. So see, the thing is, man, I be, like, so glad when I see these little niggas make it, yo, make it out of their um, situation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As just, just like, even, like, me and you, right? Mm-hmm. Even on our level, I, we definitely ain't no street niggas, but I'm just saying, like, whatever a nigga make it out of his predicament, yep. it's, like, it's it's sad to see that shit turn around and go back, bro. Yep. Like, dang, you made it out of all that shit just to... Just to get killed, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. It's sad, man. And it's like, it's too many of them. It's, it's like, cat- yeah. it was like Vine, and then it was like Mo3, like a right. couple yeah. of days later. like Yeah. And then the rest of them getting shot in the leg for some reason. Right. It's like three or four motherfuckers got shot in the leg it's in like, the last week. Yeah. I'm a... Uh, K.O. Bracey is definitely uh, not, not street, okay? I, uh... <laughs> I be in my house most of the time, dog. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, I be sleeping like nine. I mean, <laughs> I know. Definitely not street, you know? <laughs> this nigga, he, he went on and got engaged. He was like, yo, I'm not about to be. I don't have no reason to be out here. Man, this I rapper, got my girl at home. We just went to the ABC store. Let me tell we you. We got the weed man to drop us off what we need. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Before quarantine started and when we were still like doing performances and club stuff, I literally would be in the club about to go on stage yawning. Like, yo, this past my bedtime. You know, might not go on stage till like twelve or one. I'm gonna do these one. goddamn three songs real quick, right? <laughs> and then I'm ready to go to sleep, bro. Like, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I don't nah, know, nah. <laughs> I feel you. So you know, I don't know. I'm not really about the rapper life. Back when I was in my twenties, rapping and shit, mm-hmm. all that shit sounded fun. Going to the club, drinking mm-hmm. mad bitches. Whatever, <laughs> no, like really, this yep. is what you picture your life yeah. being as yep. a rapper. Like, yep. yo, I'm gonna be having fun. Yep. All the goddamn that shit is not appealing to me anymore, bro. Nope. But most of the rappers don't even have that life. Most of the rappers have a uh, standing waiting to perform at a showcase uh, with yeah. a bunch of other rappers, just a bunch of sweaty guys <laughs> in a club. Yeah, all hating on each other. Yeah, <laughs> right. I've been there too. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Everybody just with their arms folded, like, 
And then after, you know, <laughs> one guy one guy will leave and he takes half the crowd with him. He's like, dang. <laughs> it is always that one, yep. <laughs> one group, yo. Oh, it never fails. <laughs> but this one time we had this group that, uh, like, we was performing at a showcase event like mm-hmm. that, right? And this group came out the blue and, like, they did a whole performance, like, I'm talking about, like, while he's rapping, a nigga in the audience passed out. Okay. People jumped off stage, grabbed him, and then pulled him up to the stage. The rapper did CPR on the wall. It was like a whole fucking movie oh, and shit. Wow. Okay. At first, I thought the nigga actually uh, passed out. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dang, this good right here. <laughs> yeah. Then they did all that. Then the whole his whole crew was like fanning the dude. Then that dude gets up and does this damn verse and shit. Let's go. I was like, God damn, that shit was hot as fuck, yo. Hey, y'all, I'm taking mental notes. I'm <laughs> then the motherfuckers left. Then after that, I was with doing shit with 3TB, Rock Hit it up at that time. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we was like, we got to step our game up. Bro. Right. <laughs> These cats up here doing CPR. <laughs> we just up here rapping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, goddamn, you can't be doing no show without doing no goddamn show, man. Hey, man, I got to start doing that then, man. Like, Yeah, man, for I real. I don't know what I'm a... I don't know, man. I got to think, because I can't dance, you know? Yeah. Uh, I can't sing. <laughs> I just rap, y'all, you know, so... I, I don't know, man. Just find other people that can do all the extra shit. I might, you. but maybe I can dance, right, and they will like that I can't dance. You feel like what I'm Will saying? Smith, right? So it's like get somebody on stage that can dance, and maybe I dance, battle them, and be hitting my little. You see that nigga? I see it. The the yeah. Right. Don't hate, bro. So, people, if you are listening to the podcast, I hate that you miss Kega Bracey's <laughs> dance dance moves. <laughs> but the, for you on Instagram Live, that's exclusive right there. That's exclusive. <laughs> Ain't never gonna get seen again. All right. So if y'all missed it. I might give y'all one of them. Y'all nah, get the right on. That right can't there, get the other one. That right there is a clip for TikTok right Let's there. Let's go. You're going to be on our damn TikTok now. Let's go. Fucking pop locking and shit. I, is that a pop lock though? Because I it's ain't like even got a, no pop with it. This like <laughs> Stop lock. <laughs> it's, it's a something. I don't know what it is, bro. <laughs> Yo, we bugging. Hey, yo, did the artist ever come in? Oh, okay. My bad. It felt like it was so much later than 6.15 in my what mind. What time though. the artist coming? 6.15. Oh, okay. All right, look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Grandma ain't no mind it, though. They really don't like it when I call them grandma. When I say that, I'm talking about my interns, um, Emma May. One of them name is Emma, and the other one is May. I was like, damn, y'all sound like a grandma whenever they first. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Right. Like, when I was talking back and forth to May, I'm like, it's probably like 60. <laughs> Got a 60-year-old woman. Right, so like, but she hip, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Okay, sugar, you, uh, right. I need you here by 545. Don't be a minute late either. Keep your mask on, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got up. Don't oh. say. <laughs> she young. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She mad in that thing. They ain't gonna let me come back now, y'all. <laughs> KO is not to come right. back. <laughs> Dang, he done called me. Oh. <laughs> May I didn't mean it. I didn't. These like they just jokes. They yeah, just that jokes. That is funny, bro. That is real funny. <laughs> I'm mad JR out here too. I just want to take out this time to say fuck JR. Oh, that's savage. Yeah. That You're gonna is. drink me some water on the mic. <laughs> <clears throat> Make sure you drink your water, guys. Is that JR laughing right there? No. Oh, duh. Nah. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> JR, he, he probably threatening me in his head right now if he hear that. Hey, man, while y'all here, uh, everybody on the line, y'all make sure y'all follow your boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. K A Y O B R A C E Y. Hey, yeah. K O Bracey. You hear them vocals, bro? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Hello. We got him in here. What up, gang? What up, what up, what up, bro? 
I'm good. How about y'all? Man, chilling, chilling. You know, we man. vibing, man. So hey. it, it's extra large hope. Not just XL. <laughs> no. It got multiple meanings behind it, though. Okay, okay. We'll, all right, go ahead and give Shoot, me, tell us about it, yeah, bro. Give me some of that. Shoot, I came up with it when I was like 16. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, I was tapping into like a lot of Malcolm X teachings and stuff like that. Right. You know, I was I was younger. I was a little, you know, wild. So a lot of that stuff kind of calmed me down. And, you know, similar to how um, he was in his life when he was younger, you know what I'm saying? He kind of had a tough upbringing, and I could just relate to a story of how he made, like, a whole 360. So part of it comes from the X from his name. Um, also, it is Extra Large Hope. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But it's also short for XL. So that's what I meant for – that's what I meant by – That's all excelling, yeah. That's all. That's that is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were talking about your upbringing and how Malcolm X had to go through a lot, right? And um, and then he did a full three sixty. So, so yeah, give us a little bit about that. What's up with your upbringing that made you feel like you need to make a turnaround? I was, you know, I growing up, you know what I'm saying. Just like all of us, I feel like we had that phase where, especially males, we had that phase where, you know. We had all this energy, and we just didn't go about it in the most safest and productive way possible. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I was a thug in my early days at one time. Exactly. <laughs> Not me, buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's a whole different you now, I'm right. pretty sure. So just, you know... Being young, younger and everything like that, not really knowing how to control emotions as effectively as I do now, um, you know, always getting in the fights. You know, when we was in middle school, like, you know, that was just the thing. We used to knuckle up, and we would shake hands after that. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the way we went about stuff, you know. And I grew up, you know, my mom, my parents actually split when I was 12. You know, my mom was always there. I was always keeping contact with my dad. You know what I'm saying? He moved back to where he was from. So I, it was just me, my mom, my sister, and I actually in the house. Um, so, you know, grandma was there too. You know, the grandmas, they always spoil you and everything. So that contributed to me just having to wake up and be like, man, you got to forge your own path. You know what I'm saying? Because you got your grandma and Everybody else always petting you and treating you good and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And so. Okay. Oh, yeah. So let me ask you this. For the people that have just joined the live that may not know you, tell the people, like, what do you do? What's special about you? You know, what's different about you, bro? Man, I'm XL Hope. You know what I'm saying? That's my stage name. Um, I make music. I rap. I produce as well. Uh, you know, I am in college also. I'm a social work major. You Where know, you I, go, bro? I go to Coppin State, bro. And uh, okay, okay, you up, you up in Baltimore. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, I went to Morgan, my G. Oh, for real? Yep. Man, HBCU proud, man. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, um, I just really love music, man. I really love the therapeutic feeling about it. I really love affecting other people. You know, when I started off at 16, I'm 20 now. The goal was to, you know, even if it's just one person, you know, being on here with y'all, mm -hmm. really, I feel really humble and, you know, happy to be here and just talk to y'all, you know what I'm saying? And this platform that y'all got is really supportive to a lot of artists, and that's love, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. We appreciate you appreciating us. Because, <laughs> hey, on the real, like, that's what it's all about, man, mm -hmm. finding – Finding people that's doing dope shit, man, and, and you know, exploiting that a little bit in a good way, though. You know what I'm saying? And, bro, I'm glad you got that mindset in Baltimore. Right. Okay? I've been there, bro. <laughs> All right? I know what it looks like. Yeah. You feel me? I feel like the last time I went to Baltimore, I hadn't been there for a couple of years, and I was like, dang, man, like, it look crazy up here, bro. Like, you got to be, like, a different type of dude, you know what I mean, to, to thrive. It's like the city got so much pride, but bro, it's like 
it's tough. You know what I mean? So I'm glad you got that. You got that mindset that you got, bro. Yeah. You know, keep keep going, man. Like, what's what's your best record, man? It's like, you know, if somebody want to hear your music and they like, all right, I seen XL on the live. Like, what song do they need to start with? Yeah, before I say that, let me say this first. I'm actually <laughs> from Baltimore. Um, I did live out there for a little bit. Mm -hmm. but that's just uh, when I was, obviously, we back home now with the virtual thing. Right, right, right. hate that shit. Where you um, from? I'm actually... Bro, I just say Maryland because, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in Atlanta for a while, too, you know, in Georgia, a small town over there, you know. And then we moved up here to Maryland when I was 12 after okay. my parents left, you know. So I just say Maryland for real. I mean, what, what part, though? What part? I'm in PG County. PG. I'm not, okay. I don't know. Yeah, the yeah, way yeah. you said Maryland, I was like, <laughs> he's probably PG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure you knew that, but. Um, to respond back to Bro's question right there, a song that I would really recommend people to listen to by me is Empathy. You know, it's actually on YouTube, Apple Music. You know, it's just one of those songs, man. It's like, bro, when I listen to that myself, like being a nigga that actually wrote this shit and recorded it, it's still like I'm listening to somebody else because what I was talking about is kind of like I was predicting, you know, not directly, but it's kind of like I was indirectly predicting what we would be in this year. You feel me? Yeah. As a lack of empathy and stuff, as a lack of people, you know, just disregarding life and shit. You know what I'm Right. Saying? Yo, you, you a deep ass 20 year old, bro. I like it, man. <laughs> bro, what you just touched on when you said a disregard for life. Right. That stuff gets so draining, man. It's like you turn on the news, you look on the shade room, it's like, dang, this dude done died. This dude dead. This dude dead. Bro. And I said that in, uh, you know, amongst my peers maybe like a month ago. It's like, it's such a disregard for life, bro. It's like, I feel like people think we playing Grand Theft Auto or right. something. Yeah, like, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's crazy <laughs> over stupid stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. That's definitely what it is, bro. Like, you can't say it no better than that. It's really GTA. You know what I'm saying? That. It's crazy, man, and I'm pretty sure both of y'all know that. That shit's just crazy. Yeah. That's one word to sum it up. It's crazy. Yeah. Real tough. Man, that's why we got to, we got to, um, you know, appreciate each other and also build together and create something that's worth living for, man. Like, that's mm -hmm. a real shit, man. Like, we be spending so much time hating, you know what I'm saying, that <laughs> it's like, bro. It's enough out there for us, bro. Like, ain't no need to be killing each other over this little bit of crumbs, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I mean, I just want to say this, though. Like, being with what dude said, like I said, I'm not from Baltimore, but I did yeah. spend a little time out there um, as a kid. Is the whole thing with pride and it just being tough, man. You know what's funny is, I did a lot of reading about how, like, us black males was moving, like, in the 60s and stuff like that. And it's like, it's almost like all the stand, not all of them, but most of the stand-up dudes died back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, back. yeah. these was people who was protecting their community, man. Black Panthers and stuff, police. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, now it's like, oh, shit, this shit look like the apocalypse. It's just right. Crazy. You know, what can we say, man? But it's like nothing's changed because it's like, to yeah. to your point, look at Nipsey. Right. Like, yeah. like, we talk about powerful, influential people that are like trying to make a change and doing something powerful, and those yeah. are the people that end up getting killed or it'd be people of influence, people mm -hmm. that people look up to, dog. It's, I don't know what's wrong with us, man, and why that, why that hasn't changed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, bro. Hatred is deep, man. You know, you feel it even when you go outside. You know? Right. And see, the problem is, too, man, is, you know, we know they hate us. But to a certain level, we also hate ourselves, which is this is a whole double whammy right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's real, bro. Like, like yo, when I, when I see somebody that looks like me, my first judgment for the average black man is is still defensive. It's still either hating or you know what I'm saying it's not to that level where we find ways where we can work together as easily 
as some of the other cultures do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, now, let me ask you this, now, because we done had a deep conversation. <laughs> I bro. know, right? <laughs> Am I going to turn on your, uh, your table here? Sell it dope. <laughs> you know what I'm Shot him in the chest. With the... Now, look. Like, this, this is not the guy we talked to on the podcast right, at all. Right, <laughs> we've been here. Malcolm X has inspired you <laughs> and all of this. I bet not hear that now. <laughs> what we gonna hear on that project when we listen to you, bro? Hey man, that you that was a funny one for real. <laughs> I'm holding you know? I mean, um what you gonna hear, man, is is just like I said, it's just experiences that come from life and stuff and I'm no different from nobody. I'm yeah. a human being too, like everybody, you know, and yeah. for real, for real what I'm doing differently is I'm just, I'm speaking about the consequences. I'm speaking about what right. actually comes right. with it. You know what I'm saying? They don't, some people don't tell you all that. Yeah. It's, it's crack, crack, brr, you know, but it's like after that, you know, what's going to happen is mama's crying after that. Your big brother probably end up going to jail after that. <laughs> you know, you losing homies, getting shot over <laughs> bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trauma, and that's why a lot of us is fucked up inside, you know. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, I always appreciated the artists that gave the full story, though. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Real that's what's up. Real talk, Brody. That's just really what it is, man. Is I like, I do a lot of storytelling as well. You know, I throw, I'm going to throw in some metaphors in there, you know, just so, you know, make those comparisons so you can see. And I can emphasize what I'm actually talking about. Yeah. Because so, do you produce everything, or you you work with other producers? Like, what's up? I don't produce everything. You know what I'm saying? I've actually um, made a few beats for some people. I've actually never rapped over one of my beats. And to be honest with both of y'all, it's all about gaining that confidence. You know, I can't lie to you. It's almost like I got a cousin who don't eat her own food that she cooks just because she's so judgmental of what she cooks. But other people love it. You right. Know? I got you. Yeah, to her it's subpar. So I'm really trying to just keep working on that craft until I feel more comfortable to do it more and more and rap on it more and more. You know? Yeah. So. That's dope. Right. That's yeah. dope, man. Are you comfortable enough to drop some bars? Oh, shit. People? Oh, shit, man. You just called me out. Uh, <laughs> he said that shit calm as hell. Oh you shit, man. Oh. I wasn't trying to now, but it's like yeah. for the people that have for the people. maybe I've never heard you. It can be a written. It don't matter. It's just like right. if right. the people want to hear some some bars. Yeah, man. See, I prepared for this. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, um shit. I say it like this. What's real and what's fake, some people don't know. Some people get snaked. You know, niggas cock it back and let it blow. So I always stay on the low and move low key. Because a lot of niggas be talking and chirping, but they don't know me. See, they could say that you a man or they could say that you not. For me, I'm going to just keep balling and keep going. Because that's what I got to do. I got to keep grinding and thriving and striving. But it's okay, though, because I'm only leveling up, bossing up. All them bad habits getting tossed to the side, tossed up. You fuck with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I might get tricky with the handles like Rondo, get you crossed up. Let's go. <laughs> Every day, I'm trying to improve, trying to do what I do. Hard work and dedication infused with motivation. Ain't no sitting back and just laying on my ass trying to relax and chillax. I just got to keep going in case I relax. Can't go back to what I used to do. I got to go back to what I'm used to. But what I'm used to is what I used to do. Oh, shit. I hope I ain't confused you. Yeah, all right. I got yeah. you. <laughs> all right. I see it. All right. <laughs> you don't look. You look. You, you rapping some of that stuff. I was I was thinking I was going to hear from you. That's right? what's up, man. That's that motivation music, y'all. That's that motivation, man. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going I'm to definitely... Uh, matter of fact, what, what's the name of the song you said we need to hear from you? Test. Oh, test. I actually sent y'all test. You sent us test. Okay. 
So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play test at the end of this podcast too. Hey. To make sure that the listeners hear it, man. That's what's up, man. It, yeah, yeah. I like what I hear from you though, man. Yo, so you said you've been rapping since what, sixteen? Okay. Actually eleven, man. Let me tell y'all a funny story. I got some cousins that's actually from Baltimore. And my man on the left right there, I'm pretty sure he know how they cut you up out in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up, like, oh, my God, they cut you up in Baltimore. Them dudes got a joke for every day. <laughs> All day. Every outfit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You could wake up one day, be feeling yourself. Shit. And I went through it. They kept calling me a Bama. <laughs> <laughs> I went through it. <laughs> So I started freestyling with them in their basement, man. And like I said, what was they doing? They was coming me up. So, you know, I'm 11, man. I'm still a kid. I go in the corner, man, and I'm like, damn, man. Why do you do me doing me like this? They supposed to be family. You know what I'm saying? I'm all salty and everything. That's when I said, you know what? Fuck this, man. Let me come back and let me real life go in. So, you know, that's how that built up, just freestyling with my cousin. Right. And then I, we started recording. Uh, it asked me at 16. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I started taking the craft more seriously. You know, yeah. I just joking around, rapping on, like, Bobby Smurda beats and stuff like that. All the stuff that was hot until them experiences came in and a nigga really had to just man up and grow up. And, you know, I just had to translate it to the art. That's what's up. Hey, yo, who you listen to? Who do I listen to? I listen to a lot of Meek Mill. You know Word, what I'm Okay. Since I was young, a lot of Kendrick, I really love Kendrick's music. Okay. Um, um, J. Cole as well. Shout out North Carolina. That's yeah, cool. you already know. You know, yes, sir. Um, who else, man? I just gave y'all three artists. J. Cole, Meek Mill. Hey, yo, so I'm wondering if somebody your age. All right, so did you ever, like, backtrack and, like, go back and listen to any of the older artists? Oh yeah, for sure. Like who? Who do you, who'd you go back to? Obviously Tupac. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Everybody, uncle and father, listen to Tupac, so I had no choice. Right. Nas, you feel me? Nas is. Oh yeah. Nas, That's a good one. Nas is the goat. You feel me? Like his storytelling and his ability to just paint the picture the way he painted. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know what? I can see you listening now. I, I can I see that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and Kendrick, you know. Yeah, yeah. Deep, well-rounded, bro. Right, right. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's crazy, bro. That's what's up, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this man can date your daughter. He's <laughs> <laughs> a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. I like that, bro. That aggressiveness, so it's like this. The aggressiveness comes from me. Um... The lyricism and you know the wordplay comes from Cole, and then the storytelling is all Kendrick. Yeah. So them three styles bottled up, bottled up in one is what really you know what I'm saying made me the artist I am today, and the dude that I am for real, man. Them dudes they talk some shit, they really help you move. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Real yeah. Talk. yeah, man. That's that's what's up, man. Hip hop is somewhat of a religion. You get enough mm -hmm. of it in you, you know, you're going <laughs> to, what you listen to does matter, bro. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's good that you, you got some artists that are pretty positive that are influencing you and your style, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. So we're going to, um, we're going to let you get up out of here. We're going to wrap up over here, finish up our show, man. We really appreciate talking to you. We're going to oh, make man. sure that we uh, play that track at the end of this podcast as well, man. My boy, keep hustling, man. Looking forward to seeing you win, brother. You already know. Y'all too, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all about elevation. and You know what I'm saying? We attract where we are. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're on the live right now, and we out here, you know what I'm saying, progressing, and I love to see it. You know? That's what's and up, man. Truthfully, I feel like I'm going to be speaking to y'all another another time and another day from another year or so from now and y'all gonna you know be even higher than what y'all are now and oh boy i'll see you, you already know man yeah yeah we're gonna stay connected the whole way through man so, yeah and i'm truly 
you know, thankful to be here and talk to y'all, man. Appreciate it. My pleasure, man. Right, be bro. good, bro. All right, man. Like yeah. him, I know, right? Yeah, He's a good young. Fucking feel good. good I'm young feeling brother. inspired. <laughs> Want to go do some jumping jacks and read uh some poetry? <laughs> like man, he yeah, <laughs> went well rounded. Yeah, he was actually really dope, well rounded yeah. type artist, man. I'm a um. Uh, Definitely play that song at the yeah, end. I want to. I want to hear bro. the other one he was talking about yep. too, though. For real, for real. Yeah, I like him, man. Yeah, man. But on to this this news, man. All right, all right. Your boy's twenty one. Your boy twenty one Savage lost his brother after a stabbing incident in London. So R I P um, to twenty one's brother and uh, condolences to him and his family. Um, that's pretty crazy, though. Yeah. It's- uh, so. This is the stabbing incident. So I guess who was uh, Terrell Davis, who rapped under the name um, TM One Way, got in an argument with a friend, which led to the stabbing. Basically, what he was doing was delivering um, some goods to his grandmother when this happened. So that damn. <laughs> that does suck Like yo Yo what we was just talking about You man. hear one minute and gone the next He wasn't even really out here Like wilding or nothing bro Right Dang I saw somebody on Instagram They was talking about the other day I was like So many people are uh, dying Just because people don't know How to resolve like simple uh, Simple Arguments Disagreements Misunderstandings bro, like, Or taking the time to say what did you mean by that? Like, <laughs> right? That is a such an important. Bro. That's an important question, guys. You know, before you react, just like, hey, man, what did you mean by that? Like, yeah, that yeah. kind of offended me. And then, I don't know. Like, most offense is like just because you're offended. I don't even know. It ain't even worth scrapping over half the time. It's not. It's <laughs> like it okay, even. all right, bye. It's like okay, cool. You you don't like it? Cool. Find somebody to do <laughs> right. right at the end of the day. But like we were saying, uh, Quando Rondo, uh, you know, he, he he decided to drop an album, which is decoded to tell his side of what happened the tragic night that uh, King Von and the two others were killed in Atlanta. Um, he released a, a song called End of Story, which is in response to the altercation with uh, Von's um, Only the Family. I heard it. Yeah, how you did you? Heard, you heard I it? actually did not hear it. Actually, so w- he what did going you think? pretty hard on there, man. So he really went into like he going hard on that thing, man. Dang, I'm gonna have to listen to it on the way out of here. See, okay, yeah, I want y'all to remember now. I ain't street whatsoever. Yeah, I was playing an imaginary organ right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but it's like when you kind of get more and more details on it I honestly it's like I can see both sides of it bro yeah yeah like I really can I can see how why Vaughn people kind of feel the way they feel but I can I can yeah. definitely see why Rondo people feel the way that they feel yeah man. me too just based off of some of, the, some of the interviews that I watch and some of the ways that different people in both crews were moving that night and what led to the situation and you know and, what I'm saying it's just and if you're not in that life, you can't really say, well, yeah, this was yeah. wrong or they shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying what people should or shouldn't do, but I'm just like, dang, man, it's starting to be too much, though, man. Yeah, bro. Like, it's, it's too much of it going on. Yeah, bro. But, you know, certain things come with certain lifestyles. Absolutely. Now, I, I will say that. It's like when you – this is what I'm tired of seeing, okay? I'm yeah. tired of seeing – People getting killed, and then it's like we joke about it on social media the next day, or it's like, you know, the ops are smoking on this guy's pack, and I had seen that from from both sides, bro. Like yeah, yeah. right, like through the through the past, and you know, but it's like now nah, these people gone. You know what I mean? So it's just it's tough, man. It is, man. It's tough, and it I really just uh, man, I hope people just able to solve things a little bit better, bro. <laughs> I know, man. Me too, bro. For real, but for real. Rondo is a uh, he's spitting on that thing. He is not gonna lie, man. I I'm gonna listen to not it. Not gonna lie. I am gonna listen to it. I should have already listened to it, but it's okay, man. You it's, know, 
you ain't late on it, man. You know it's going to be just in late. time. You just in time for it. When did he make it? When he uh, maybe like a week ago. Oh, okay. I'm late. I'm a little late. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you having my back, though, bro. A little bit. I'll try. I'll try. All right. So, how do you feel about watching a six part docuseries about Nicki Minaj? Does that interest you? Okay. So, two part answer, okay? <laughs> okay. Part number one doesn't interest me personally. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but do I think? But because it's just like guys, I'm just different. Okay. I like watching. Don't you judge me. <laughs> I like watching Walking Dead. Okay. No, Bachelorette. No, uh, I'm not I don't with care you what you say. Okay, that's what. Bachelorette I is like. so annoying to me. All of them <laughs> Bachelor shows, like this, is what I like watching. Okay, so am uh, I gonna watch? I won't Probably like not. it till I'm the Bachelor. Then it'll be a okay. good show. Yeah. Like, okay. Which one of you bitches I want? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're not gonna play. Like, you. you mean to tell me <laughs> I can go out with this chick, make out with her in front of the other chick, and then the other chick is gonna want me more. And they still have to play them all. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you get a rose. <laughs> you get a rose too. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, back to what we were talking about. Second part of my answer, though, <laughs> I feel like she deserves it. Oh yeah, okay, one hundred percent, man. Right, right, yeah. Like people can't tell you, Nikki ain't a legend. That she's yeah, not yeah. groundbreaking. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely, absolutely. Is. And them barbs, they gonna eat up every minute. Right, right. At that six part. So series. you don't think at some point you we will end up watching it? You're just not gonna watch it at all. I'm probably going to have to watch it. Okay. To be able to talk about it. His 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 wife to be is over there like, yeah, nigga, you going to watch this shit. Dude, I, this is, like, when I come home and just be like. Get your popcorn mm, ready, nigga. I wouldn't just come home and be like, let me turn on this Nicki Minaj docuseries. Like, I probably yeah, wouldn't yeah, do yeah, it. No. You know what I mean? No, I got you, man. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of Nicki. People give her a lot of shit. And not to say she doesn't deserve right. that shit. But I like Nicki. You feel but, me? Nikki got a bunch of bangers. Yeah, yeah. No, Nikki do. Now, of course, do I like Nikki's old stuff a little bit better? Man, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, but I think what it is is that when somebody is at such a high level, yeah. you feel me? Even if you feel like she makes a song and it's like this. Right. Just a, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. still great, but it's like, ah, it just. It, it was noticeable whenever she started slipping. I will say that. Mm -hmm. It was very noticeable. And it was very easy at the time that it happened for Cardi to take her spot. Cardi, man, when she, uh, she dropped that first, that first album. That and that is so no offense to Nicki because Nicki is still the shit in my eyes. I'm not going to cap, man. That, that album, Cardi uh, dropped. I could have, what was it called? Privacy? What is, I can't even remember the name. I know I played it straight through, and I was like, it's not a bad song on here. Yeah, that was a dope Like, album. it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, people got caught up on, with well, did she write it? Or that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I was just listening to it, I didn't care if a monkey wrote that thing. I was like, this is hot, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a different day and age anyway. It is. You know, because I, I was listening to some, um, <laughs> some old ass Wu Tang yesterday. Let's go. Like, for real. I was just like, yo. We will never get shit like that ever again, bro. Yeah, it's like because people don't really want to hear like outside yeah, like yeah. J Cole and Kendrick are like the anomalies right yeah, now in yeah, hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like I mean even from them, it's not that same vibe that mm -hmm. you got with like you got with Wu Tang whenever they was out. Like even we were talking about Nas whenever he first like whenever Nas it's different yeah. came out like. It was just, it was a whole different vibe as far as, like, the way we felt about those artists. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But do you think we're biased? Like now, yeah, I do think we biased we grew also. Up on it, but you know? still, nowadays, the game is so different. Just like with basketball or football, you mm -hmm. know, the game is so different. Mm -hmm. So it's like, nowadays, you got to damn near already be fucking rich and made it yeah, before you man. even get to, like... Right. Get your foot in the door. <laughs> I'm about to make like me. A, I'm about to make an OnlyFans page, right? Cause like I'm not, you know, I'm yeah, not gangster, you yeah. know, not 
Can't hey, sell dope. I ain't rich. That might be the way, though. Maybe Bay will let me make one. Yeah. But I like maybe I just be like showing my feet on. I got ugly feet. So <laughs> my pinky toe black. <laughs> be throwing a game sign. I'm gonna make a. This ain't jokes. This real. I take my shoe off right now. I'm gonna start oh, yeah. a fans only. Uh, it's gonna be yeah. called Ko's Feet. So y'all subscribe yeah. to that thing, man. You know what's funny? What's really crazy is you probably get some subscribers. Absolutely. It's crazy, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm like, gonna yo. do it tonight. What the hell are these motherfuckers paying for? Speaking of which, because I was talking, I was talking to this chick about OnlyFans the other day. Mm-hmm. So, with all this free porn out here, I just don't understand why niggas would subscribe. That's that's my only question. <laughs> the only way <laughs> that that's one hundred percent correct. First right. of all. But I think what it is is these these guys see these influencers and they just fall so head over oh, heels okay, yeah. in love with that person. And it's almost like they just want they just even lie. my girl, man. They just lie. I'll be saying comments, she'll post a selfie. Oh, I'm in love with you. Yeah. I'd be like, bro, I'll slap you through the phone right now. You <laughs> they know don't I mean? know though, man. Right. No, they do know. They do? They do know. because uh, right. I know like They know, bro. i I'll comment and like stuff. But I don't, I don't never comment no creepy shit though. I've never let me, been. Let me tell you. I've never me. been a creepy commenter. Me either. That's why we're cool. <laughs> you know, they don't understand that's weird. Okay, she can like she has uh she has stands. You know. Oh, I got you. They yeah. comment on everything. Oh, oh. And then she'll post a bay pic. Ain't no comment <laughs> there, bro. But then the next selfie. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, bro, you better share some of that love on that last picture, too. Yeah. For me, I just can't put myself out there like that. Right. It's like. It comes across a little thirsty. Mm, you, you, know? all right. Right. <laughs> you You all right. You all right. You did okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it's the, the only fans thing is, like, it's taking advantage of, like. Hold on. I did do a, I did one creepy comment recently. Should I say simps? I wonder if I can find it. Don't you feel like you kind of like a simp if you pay for like a, a OnlyFans like thirty nine ninety five to see like a yeah <sighs> I don't know so this is this chick I did one creepy comment I ain't gonna lie the reason why I did it because she she was a black girl playing the fucking harp okay and I seen her fingers on the harp and the only thing what I did could, you say what did you say <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Damn, no ring. <laughs> oh, that's that's not creepy. That's not creepy. That's not creepy, guys. That's not creepy. Yeah, yeah. That is a safe comment. She all the way in LA though. No, It'll guys, never happen. That, see, but, see, yeah. we need to talk about this. Yeah. All right? That's not creepy. That is just a nice little uh uh uh. Yeah. Just, nice little jump shot, you know? Yeah, yeah. Now, the creepy stuff comes in when, let's say, girls take full body pics and they got their toes out. <laughs> and guys be like, oh, my God, can you DM me pictures of your feet? That's creepy yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's... You that's, know what I mean? That's a, new, that's a whole new level of creepy right there. But I see them all the time. Oh, no. I know a chick who was getting paid to um, send pictures of her toes and shit. Y'all nasty. Yeah. You know what? Maybe, like... Like you could, you can like screenshot other people's feet <laughs> yeah. on like Google, and then just send them know, to the people know. and get paid for it. You know? Yeah, you probably can. I'm about to start me a little feet hustle. <laughs> <laughs> start me a little foot hustle. Oh shit! Yeah. All right, man. Yo, I'm about to wrap this thing up. <laughs> Hey, yo, man, you rocking with New Mainstream Talks. Make sure you follow us at New Mainstream, and I'm at the Phantom 336. Go ahead and let them know who you is. I'm at K.O. Bracey, you know, and y'all be on the lookout for new music and my feet fan only page. You already yeah. know. <laughs> Me feeling like Sarah, so raw, huh? I, I said, I said, I said, so raw, huh? Get your faith up, get the sight right, pick my sign up, go lie now. Lie. I'ma take off, cut my team right, team. I ain't never scared, I don't back down. Get the faith up, get the sight right, pick my sign up, go lie now. Lie. I'ma take off, cut my team right, yeah. I ain't never scared. Yeah. I'm in the kitchen cooking grits, uh. I done burnt my hands, hey. counting so much guava, uh. I done hurt my hands. Hey. Swinging like Jeter, feet up, ayy, need for a rap for a feature, fly, 
me so short I ain't gotta clap back, I ain't gotta talk loud I ain't gotta throw shade, I ain't gotta flex I'ma just thank God when I wake up Then I go and get a bad, what you know about that? I ain't have a car, so I had to walk Before I got cold, I had to frost But what you thought? I took an L, but my team didn't That made me a boss My name in your mouth, so I got a floss I am a vet, I'm not a rookie Your favorite rapper soft I'ma do some Bootleg cable in the crib Big head like Lil' Bill Soon I'ma tell me a meal This $10 beat gon' make me a meal Get your face up, get your sight right Get my sign up, go lie now I'ma take off, cause my team right I ain't never scared, I don't back down Get your face up, get the sight right Get my sign up, go lie now I'ma take off, cause my team right I ain't never scared, I'm in the kitchen cooking grits I done burnt my hand Counting so much water Check em. Nigga, if you see me fall, best believe I'ma get up Cause I'm trained this way, like it's training day Damn, even Denzel has a rainy day I'm just looking for an equalizer Yes, I am a fantasizer, but I am a realist Yes, I know you feeling this If you going through some tests, you gotta do your best Regardless, cause these niggas careless and they really careless I can never understand being senseless and shit I'm an inglorious bastard, call me Brad Pitt Cause I've been through some shit Wishing I had my father But my test made me a hawk A lyrical monster Yeah, Test, test, yeah I've been through some tests Test, test, yeah I've been through some tests But I ain't make a mess Damn, I always did my best Took my L's like a boss Now I say it with my chest Test, test, yeah I've been through some tests Test, test, yeah I've been through some tests But I ain't make a mess Damn, I always did my best Took my L's like a boss, now I say it with my chest See, I really know what it's like to hit rock bottom rock But bottom. I will not stay on the ground like the leaves in autumn Get up. Watch me go and take my chance like my name James Harden And Harden. blow up like a rocket, now they tryna pull my socket I'm plugged in for eternity, you niggas better stop it The year's 2020, every goal I gotta top it I done been in situations and I felt like I collapsed Like a crack addict, I relapsed, but I'm never going back I gotta kill every track and I need to stay on my path Call me Usain Bolt because it floats my boat And Excel's a walking quote When I speak they take notes I got the key to my life Now let me open the door I'm young but not naive With a lot to achieve But let me not deceive I didn't always believe In myself or my dreams So I had to be bold I never fold My test made me come off your goal Test, test, yeah I've been through some tests Test, test, yeah, I've been through some tests But I ain't make a mess, damn, I always did my best Took my L's like a boss, now I say it with my chest Test, test, yeah, I've been through some tests Test, test, yeah, I've been through some tests But I ain't make a mess, damn, I always did my best Took my L's like a boss, now I say it with my chest